Listen, the Bible says the one who believes in me, according to the scriptures, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So listen, your spirit sits in your belly. Amen. So your spirit, out of your spirit shall flow rivers of living water. Now listen, the word rivers also means patamos. But the word patamos doesn't just mean rivers. It also can mean a flood. So basically what this is saying is become a flood so that you can begin so that you can begin to pour into God's people. Now, listen, this is a part of growing in the revelation of Christ. So the one who believes, according to the scriptures, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So this is the point of becoming. Once you become saved, now you're saved. Yes, but now God wants you to become. He wants you to grow in revelation so that you can become a flood. Now, listen, Genesis chapter two, verses eight, it says, now the Lord God, God had planted a garden in the east in Eden, and there he put the man he had formed. There he had put the man he had formed. Now the Lord God made all kinds of trees grow out of the ground, trees that were pleasing to the eye and good for food. In the middle of the garden were the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. A river watering the garden flowed from Eden. From there it was separated into four head waters. Now listen, but I want to go back up previously to verse five. I'm going to show y'all some. Now no shrub had yet appeared on the earth and no plant had yet sprung up. For the Lord God had not sent rain on the earth and there was no one to work the ground, but streams came up from the earth and the water and watered the whole surface of the ground. So notice that body of water did not yet split and separate into four streams of living water, into four rivers. And the trees did not yet grow until God put man, until he put Adam there. And there was not yet rain because when the earth was originally create, created, there was no need for rain. Why? Because Adam was the flood. Amen. So listen, those rivers, they had they had gold. It said where the gold is good. The gold of the land was good. Aromatic resin and onyx were also there. So you could have resources, but still be empty. Why? Because you have no life. So listen, the life was not the rivers. It was not the rivers. The life, the source of life for the garden was a man. It was Adam. Amen. So this is the point of becoming and reaching the fullness of who you are in Christ. So that you can become a flood in somebody's life. Amen. A flood that whether they like it or not, you're going to get wet. Amen. See, people, even people that don't believe, even witches and warlocks, the people actually stepped up and actually grew in the revelation and matured in the knowledge of Christ. You can actually begin to walk in that power and authority, becoming a flood by when people hit it. When, when you hit people, when people encounter it, they get hit by that flood, boom, they're instantly changed by it because they see that power demonstrated in the atmosphere. They see that power demonstrated on you. And it changes people forever. Amen. Become such a flood in somebody's life that when you pour into them, ah, they're changed by it forever. Amen. Come on, let's get it.